fantastic! You have almost finished writing the first version of your article. This last video will help you produce the five sections you have left. At this point, you have the material to write your conclusion because you have covered plenty of ground and have a greater perspective of your work. The conclusion specifies the new results you have uncovered and analyzed in the article, as well as their importance to the field. This is neither the summary nor the balance sheet of your results. Be aware that this is often the section through which your reader will begin reading your article. Make sure to get their attention and engage their curiosity so that they read it in full. Once the conclusion is written, you are at the end of the writing process and it's time to find the title of your article. It should be short, precise, and informative. Stick to the basics and remove any non-essential words. It should focus on what is the core subject of the article. The abstract should also entice the reader. It is a single paragraph usually composed of the following four parts. The presentation of the study context, which quickly illuminates the research question. Clear wording of the study objective. Details of the original elements of the methodology. And finally, some key results to stir the reader's interest. Let us now turn to the acknowledgements. This is a short paragraph that mentions the source of funding and support, as well as the contribution of people who are not among the co-authors of the study, but who contributed to its formation. For example, interns, technicians, or engineers who participated in certain tests. Once this is finalized, all you have to do is check each of your references. They must be complete and presented according to the format imposed by the journal in which you aim to publish. Finally, reread the document from beginning to end, trying to put yourself in the shoes of the reader who is discovering it for the first time. Use spell checking software and have at least one person around you proofread it to check the background and formatting. They will surely have comments that will help you finalize your document before submitting it for first reading to your supervisors. To avoid having different versions and potentially divergent comments, specify with your supervisors the order in which they will read the document. Expect there will be a lot of back and forth between you and your supervisors before your article is deemed ready to be sent to the journal you have identified. You have come to the end of this series of seven videos that has helped you understand how to write a scientific article. You can come back to it as much as necessary when writing your future articles. Remember that the best source of information is the scientific articles themselves. Read them carefully, both in substance and form, and practice identifying the composition of sections and paragraphs. It is by exposing yourself to the existing literature that you will be able to understand its logic and adapt your own style. Happy writing!